What's up guys? Chantal here, otherwise known as Shanti Asian here on YouTube, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, literally everywhere. My name is Shanti Asian, so if you haven't followed me or if you want to stalk me, that's my name. Please follow me and like my things. As you can see by the title today, I will be doing the TMI tag, so just a warning, this video is going to be longer than most of my other videos. If you don't know what the TMI tag is, it's about 50 questions that YouTubers answer. 50 questions is a lot of questions, so that's why this video is going to be long. And I will be comparing my answers now to my old TMI tag that I uploaded in 2015. I started my YouTube channel on the 5th of August 2014. That was three years ago. And I wasn't very consistent when I started. That's why it took me a year to reach 100 subscribers. Over a year, actually. When I uploaded my old TMI tag, that was on the 26th of November 2015. That was two years ago, guys. The date today is... What's the date today? Hello? Oh my gosh, I didn't realize! It is the 26th of November, 2017. So when I uploaded my old TMI tag, it was because I had hit 100 subscribers. That was a lot to me two years ago. I hit 1,000 while I was writing finals for my third year of my degree. It was hard for me not to film straight away, like, oh my gosh, guys, so you could see my real excitement for hitting 1,000. But it was so crazy, like... Thank you guys so much. I thank you so, so, so much. I just pray and hope that more of you will find a, a need or a want to subscribe to me and watch more videos because hopefully, somehow, I make you smile or laugh. Like, that's all I want to do. Like, it's, it's time now for us to cringe at myself two years ago. Hey guys, Chantal here. Number one, what are you wearing? I am just wearing a light grey dress, tight dress from H&M Because I did go to church this morning and I came home and I started filming so Oh and I have popcorn socks I am currently wearing a One Direction shirt that I got from their concert when I came to South Africa And I'm wearing unicorn pajama shorts Can you see them? Number two, have you ever been in love? I have been in love Yes, I have been in love, and I am still in love. Number three, have you ever had a terrible breakup? Okay, so I'm just going to put it out there. For those of you who may not know, I am single now. I am no longer in a relationship. I was in a, a long-term relationship. We were together for like seven years. And within those seven years, we had several breakups, and some of them hit me really hard, you know, like crying for, for days. Yes, I have had... Quite a terrible breakup, just not the final breakup, if that makes sense. Ah, uh, <laughs> no. I barely had boyfriends. I'm surprised this one stayed. How tall are you? I am about 5 foot 2, okay? So please do not listen to me in this video. I lied. I was dumb. I am 5'2". 1.59, okay. I don't even know. I think I'm over 5 foot. Okay, hold on. I am over 5 foot 8. There, you, you can see I said over 5 foot 2, lol, my bad, because I was stupid. Uh, how much do you weigh? I weigh about 47 kilograms. I weigh 48 now. Any tattoos? I have, yeah, I have, I have tattoos. No tattoos, but I would love to get a tattoo. Any piercings? No, I have no piercings at all. Yes, I do have piercings. I have a nose piercing, and then I have a cartilage piercing up here, and then on each ear I have two piercings on the ears. I have three sets of lobe piercings now. I removed most of my cartilage piercings, but I have some cartilage ones here, some here. I have a belly ring. I no longer have a nose ring. OTP. Okay, right now, my OTP, because I'm obsessed with Stranger Things, is Malevin. I know that they are just babies, but guys, I ship them so hard. Mike and Eleven, it is so cute. I, yeah. Have you ever had a dream that, that you, um, you had? <laughs> OTP, my OTP right now, like, I have so many OTPs. But right now, I'm rooting for Jane and Michael from Jane the Virgin. Are you watching Jane the Virgin? You should watch Jane the Virgin. What is your favorite show? <laughs> well, I told you I'm, I'm obsessed with Stranger Things, but I also like Game of Thrones, American Horror Story, 
Um, this is just a lot of series, okay, guys? But the most that I like is Stranger Things. Okay, cool. I have a few favorite shows. Jane the Virgin, Scream Queens, American Horror Story, Game of Thrones. Who are your favorite bands? Yeah, back then it was One Direction. It still is, like, deep down in my heart, but... But my bands now. Ooh, girl. Okay, so it is Why Don't We, Pretty Much, and Forever in Your Mind. I still listen in... I still listen in... I still listen to Five Sauce and the Vamps and One Direction, even though One Direction doesn't make music anymore. So, One Direction, Five Sauce, I love Five Sauce, um, The Vamps, I love The Vamps. But yeah, One Direction is bae though, they're number yes. one for me. Something you miss. I do miss doing gymnastics. I miss One Direction, definitely. Being a kid sometimes, because I am like pretty old and I am going to go into the working world soon and it makes me kind of scared. Um... I would say having a pet, like a pet dog. Because I've had many pet fish. But like having a dog. Favorite song? My favorite song right now is. Wow, I, don't, I can't even choose because there's so many like songs I love to listen to. Right now, my favorite song is Don'ts by Bryson Tiller. Cool. Uh, 13. How old are you? I'm 13. Oh, <sighs> so funny. I am 21. Okay, no, I'm kidding. I'm 19. Zodiac sign. I am a Gemini, which might explain why I like to talk so much if you didn't know that. My Zodiac sign is Gemini. Quality you look for in a partner. Sense of humor. Someone I can have like silly conversations with as well as serious conversations. Like I don't like having dry, petty little conversations with people. Just someone who likes to laugh at my jokes, laugh at me because I like making people laugh. It makes me feel so happy inside. And someone who would want to film videos with me, like I would love that. I want someone with a sense of humor. What is your favorite quote? I don't really have like a favorite quote that I can remember the words like exactly how it was but I do really like quotes about like constantly trying and that no matter how difficult an obstacle can be you can get through it and you'll only come out even stronger afterwards so that's the sort of vibe I like to go to but this I probably have said an actual quote that I like so let's see oh damn ah my favorite quote is God will never give you something that you cannot handle 17 who is your favorite actor my favorite actor would be Johnny Depp. I would have to say Johnny Depp. I just find him so fascinating. Favorite color? Favorite color right now, because my favorite color kind of changed, is I would say pink, like light pink. But a lot of my clothes are like very monochrome, black, white, gray. My favorite color is mainly purple, but I do like teal, turquoise, black, white gray loud music or soft i would say it depends like if i want to jam in my car i'll play loud music but if i just want to like chill i guess to myself i'll probably have it a bit soft but majority of the time would be loud i guess it depends like when i when i drive i love having loud music but if i'm just like chilling Okay, no, actually, mostly loud music. Oh my gosh. I like loud music. Where do you go when you're sad? I go to my room. Hasn't changed. I go to my room still. How long does it take you to shower? About 10 to 15 minutes. It takes me about 20 minutes to shower. Damn, How long girl. does it take you to get ready in the morning? I would say half an hour to an hour, depending on like what I'm doing. Like If I know what I want to wear when I'm showering, it doesn't take me that long to get ready, especially having short hair. I like, don't even brush my hair in the morning anymore when I wash it. Um, I don't really wear makeup. It takes me about over an hour. Not because I like sit there and do my makeup, because I don't really wear makeup. Just because I like to sit and I like watch Snapchat stories and then I like go to the bathroom, come back while I'm changing what YouTube videos and yeah, that's why I take so long. Wow. 23. Have you ever been in a physical fight? I have never been in a physical fight. No, I have never been in a physical fight. Turn on. Turn on what? What are we turning on? The fan? So the funny. TV. Turn offs. What? The TV? My laptop? Okay, no, I'll be serious. Okay, 24 turn ons. 
So my turn-ons would be I like guys with nice shoulders, a decent height. If your height is like Joe Sag's height, which is like 1.74 meters, I think. Joe Sag, just actually just give me Joe Sag, please. If you're taller than that, I won't complain either. Is funny, that's a turn on for me if you're funny. And if you can play an instrument or sing or both, do you know just serenade me, please. Please serenade me. I don't really know. 25 turn offs because I hate so many things and so many people. I can tell you what my turn offs are. Poor hygiene. That is like probably the biggest turn off. Like if you don't know how to take care of yourself, if you don't smell good when I'm standing next to you, what, what is that? I hate toes. And if your toes are nasty, then I'm sorry, then that's, that's it. <laughs> I still hate toes. I, 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 I. That you, um, you had, you, you, wait. Another turn off is like, oh, when people bite their fingernails, and then it's like a really small nail bed, and then the finger like comes, oh, oh, oh mm, I can't even, no, 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 no. Yeah, that's nasty. Dirty feet. Oh my goodness. 26, the reason I joined YouTube. I love talking, you know, so filming videos and just being able to talk and talk and talk and talk without people telling you to shut up. I enjoy talking. So like, knowing that I can put up a video and no one can like shut me off in front of my face is nice. But yeah, like I just enjoy letting out my feelings, talking to myself and looking at myself. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> what are your fears? Rejection and the unknown. Okay, so... So rejection is my biggest fear. Most, like, yeah. Which isn't good because it stops me from doing so much that I could do. And, like, who knows? It could turn out really great. But I wouldn't know because I didn't try because I was too scared of being turned down. And with the unknown, it's more like if I'm in a dark space that I don't know too well, like my room, I'll be creeped out because, like, I don't know what's there. You know, like anything could be hiding in the corner of that room. But in my room, I'm like, oh no, my teddy bear's there. A, a good description for me to explain to you is like, if I'm on the beach, okay? So I'm, I try my best not to think about it so much, but when I'm standing in the sand, in the water, I get paranoid because I don't know what is underneath my feet. Um, I have a fear of the unknown. Like, Hasn't I don't changed? exactly have a fear of the darkness. I have a fear of not knowing what is around me in the dark. At least in my room when it's dark, I know like what's there. But like, you know, in some open spaces, I don't know what's there and that is what freaks me out. I don't like it. Like even in the, the ocean, I don't like going into the water not knowing what is under my feet. What am I Dude. stepping on? What is lurking in the water? Even though I'm on the shore, I don't know what is happening. That's why the unknown, I do not like. <sighs> Last thing that made you cry. I cried like a few days ago because I was in my feels thinking about my past relationship and like what could have been and whatever oh the last thing that made me cry was when i was watching jane the virgin i'm a cry baby by the way like my heart is so soft and like yo i can cry so easy but i was watching jane the virgin and when she gave birth to mateo and like the whole family was there and it was just so beautiful like that made me cry for reals <laughs> last time you said you loved someone the last time i said i love you was oh my gosh I can't even remember. I feel like it might have been before I got out of my relationship. Oh no, no guys, no. Of course I've told my parents I love them. <sighs> About an hour ago when I was speaking to my boyfriend. 30, meaning behind your YouTube name. My YouTube name now has changed because it was just my name back then. Shanti Asian was the name, the nickname I was given in high school by my friends. Um. My YouTube name is my name. Last book you read? The last book I read was Harry Potter and The Prisoner of Azkaban. Okay, the last book I read wasn't a proper, proper book, but I read After, which was a really long time ago. I haven't really been reading lately. After is so good! Okay, okay, it's on Wattpad. It's a Harry Styles fan fiction. 32, the book you're currently reading, okay? I am not reading anything right now. I am more like into watching things right now, so it's kind of sad, but... I just said I'm not reading anything, so... The last show you watched was probably Stranger Things, and then I've just been watching scary movies and YouTube videos. So, yeah. 
Unless BuzzFeed Unsolved counts. With Scream Queens yesterday. The last person you talked to. The last person I spoke to in person was my mother last night. Oh, the last person I spoke to in person was was my mom just now. And she asked me if I wanted to eat. Last night, girl! Because, I mean, they leave while I'm asleep, so yeah. I haven't spoken to anyone in person today. The relationship between you and the last person you texted. Last person I texted... A friend. Oh, I texted my friend Sonali. 36. What is your favorite food? Food I would consider is anything you can eat, I would say popcorn. But if we're saying like meals, because popcorn is a snack, it would probably be sushi. Or McDonald's. No, no, McDonald's can make me feel sick. Sushi can never make me feel sick, so I would say sushi. Sushi. What? Place you want to visit? Um, I would say the UK because Joe Sag is there. I want to visit a lot of places, but I mainly want to visit America. The last place you were? Hmm. The last place I was out of the house was church, but if we're going to talk about like overseas, it would have been Philippines, but that was like years ago. The last place I was in was Philippines about four years ago. Still counting guys, that, that time that I was talking about, that was the last time I was out of the country. Do you have a crush? Yes, I have a crush on myself. Nice. I have a crush on myself still as well. No, I'm, I'm crushing hard on boys right now. Because I am amazing. 40. The last time you kissed someone. Months ago. Because I don't go out much. I don't get around much. Damn. I haven't seen my boyfriend in a really long time because we've been writing exams. So, probably like a month ago. Last time you were insulted, um... Probably this morning by my, my friend Sonali because she's always mean to me. Not too long ago because my friends insult me all the time. Favorite flavor of sweet? I don't really like sweets. I like chocolate. Does chocolate count as a sweet? 43. What instruments do you play? Piano and guitar and that's about it. I play guitar and I play piano slash keyboard. Favorite piece of jewelry? My bracelets. I love wearing bracelets. I have a very weird obsession with bracelets. Like, yeah. Last sport you played? Who guys, I am not a sporty person. So I never really did like hockey or soccer or netball, those kind of things in high school. I only did gymnastics for my whole of primary school and a bit of high school. I am not a sporty person. Um, gymnastics. That was my last sport and I did that for a really long time. Um, about eight years of gymnastics. Last song you sang. Something off of my One Direction Made in the AM album. I sang a One Direction song because it's song. <laughs> Favorite pickup line? I don't know. I don't really like pickup lines. I think they're so cheesy but like it's it's fun to laugh at I guess. Um, Are you from China? Because I'm trying to get your number. Are you from Jamaica? Because Jamaican me crazy. Okay. My favorite pickup line. Are you from Jamaica? Because Jamaican me crazy. Are you from Japan? Because I want to get in Japan seeds. Are you from China? Because I'm trying to get your number. Like, I find them just so, like, cheesy. 48. Have you ever used it? No, I've never used it. Last time never. you hung out with anyone. Yesterday, it was me and my cousin Nicole and my friend Nicole. We were playing... No, we didn't even play Monopoly. We were building a puzzle, a thousand piece puzzle. It was Tuesday. I went shopping with my friends and we just chilled and stuff. And the very last question, who should answer these questions next? I would say my friend Nicole Sikat. Okay guys, so I'm gonna speed up this outro. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, comment anything down below that you would like me to know if you want to request a video or if you just want to like comment about 
the content that you watched today or if you have anything that you want to say to me, go ahead. Check out my old TMI tag if you want to just watch that on its own and not with me talking extra extra. I hope you guys have a great day, great evening, wherever you are. And I pray that this channel keeps on growing because you guys are so amazing. Thank you once again so, so, so much for allowing me to hit a thousand subscribers a lot quicker than I expected. You guys are amazing. And I just hope that you keep growing and you just enjoy what I do because I enjoy what I do. And all I want to do is make you laugh and smile. So, yeah. I'll see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye. I'm going to go eat now. Mwah.